think about what it'd be like for, for somebody to have somebody come up and say, I want to take your photograph, but I'm not going to tell you what it's going to be used for. So how do you connect to those faces? And why did they pose for, the, for Edward Curtis? These were all questions that I wanted to answer. I couldn't answer them because I couldn't talk to them. I've always felt that photography can be used to heal the indigenous experience because we come from, from a colonial history of erasure. And the camera really became my battleground in that sense. In terms of how it represents and plays with the wampum belt is the storyteller. And so each panel that I produce has a story based on certain elements. And as an archivist, uh, captions are a very important part of that. So all the information that I have about the photographs, whether historical or my imagery, is included in the caption, along with a story that I call a travel log. And this one here is, is the new one that I'm using for, uh, for the next series of work. I've always felt a bit self-conscious about it, you know, like taking these little plastic toys out and photographing them because you get some pretty strange looks sometimes. And I remember one time uh, a non-Indigenous guy came up to me and he said, you know, I looked at these photographs and he said, I didn't know whether to cry or laugh. I said, that's a perfect response because it's supposed to have both of those in there. So I went up to the monument and I photographed the, uh, the Indian figure and I didn't photograph Champlain. People started coming up and posing for me on the platform. But that was the idea was that it was a bit of a performance piece, but Greg Hill was actually the first person that took part in it. What you choose to photograph is so fundamental to having a voice. I like working with all people. It's, to me, it's just not about uh, being indigenous. It's about being human beings. And if we can kind of get to the point where we all respect that in each other, well, then maybe the world will be a little better at that point. You have to hope. <laughs>